and welcome to the light side of the paranormal. I'm Alice. And I'm Jenna. And today we are going to be talking about Krampus. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun saying it. <laughs> oh wait, we forgot to introduce Fogg has decided he's going to be in the video. I'm not holding him here, okay? Like, yeah, he's, for the record. It's just that he's forcing. this lump of gray that isn't in the frame, so yeah. if he wants to be in the video, he kind of has to be up here, which he's fine with. See? I'm not forcing anything. <laughs> okay. Okay, so today we're talking about... Krampus. <laughs> not Santa. No, no. We're talking about the other, the creepier half of Christmas. Krampus. It could be Krampus. It could be Krampus. Krampus sounds like something I get once a month. <laughs> the Krampies. <laughs> so I also just really quickly want to mention, we did take a moment to research how to pronounce it. Oh my god. Um, and <laughs> there was like a section where you can like listen to the pronunciation, and it was like Krampus. <laughs> like it's like Krampus. <laughs> Krampus. And we're like, are they saying Krampus? Grampus. Grampus. <laughs> and then there was one that was like, Cramp. And we pus. were waiting and I was like, Pus. <laughs> so also, good. I have to say, for the whole month of December, which is only like three videos that we're doing this December, because we're taking Christmas holidays, so, mm -hmm. you know, get off our backs. But also, I'm going to be wearing Christmas sweaters for each video. <laughs> so whether you're Christmassy or not, I don't care. I'm wearing a different Christmas sweater suit for each of these videos. Christmas is Jenna's holiday. Halloween's my holiday. Christmas is Jenna's holiday. So Just prepare Here yourself. you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, on a more serious note, have you heard of Krampus? Krampus? <laughs> Krampus. <laughs> have you heard of this being? Because everybody, not, well I shouldn't say everybody, but people know who Santa is mm -hmm. or Saint Nicholas. A lot of people. But I didn't know who this was. Um, when did you first hear about Krampus? When the... How? Krampies. When I first heard about the Krampies when I hit puberty. <laughs> oh my no. god. Uh, when that big movie came out. Um, okay, so like just a couple years so like ago. Maybe, yeah, like five, four or five years ago, whenever that was. Yeah. And I had never heard of it, and then, then I had heard of it. And that's the story. Thanks for joining <laughs> us! <laughs> Why, when was the first time you heard about it? I heard about Krampus when I was... 15, um, I was like hanging out with like a lot of metalheads, and like Krampus is like the most metal <laughs> Christmas thing out there. So we were just like, this is awesome. <laughs> let's let's read about this. So we um, we would all just like get really into Krampus because of that. Like he's just like you know. Yeah. Um, but I never really studied it until we decided to make this video. So it was really cool learning more details about it, not just like that he looks like a cool Christmas demon, but that he is... Words I never thought I'd hear <laughs> Are you guys ready to know more about Krampus? Who is Krampus? Krampus is the naughty list. Yeah, like Santa or like Saint Nicholas, he's got a nice list and a naughty list. No, Krampus is the naughty list. Like he gets stuff done in terms of like punishing the bad ones. It's basically- There's no lump of coal, <laughs> let's just say. You're gonna wish you had a lump of coal. Yeah, yeah you're gonna want that. <laughs> There's lots of stuff you could do with a lump of coal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's far, far more dark. Far, far darker? So Krampus is like the other side of Santa. Mm -hmm. So Santa, or Saint Nicholas I should say, comes and brings gifts or candy or pretty much rewards the children for being good. Good behavior. Yeah, whereas Krampus is the other side of that, so he was kind of used as like a tool to threaten Keep the children. Kids <laughs> threaten the kids to be good, or else you wouldn't get visited by St. Nicholas, you would get visited by Krampus. And it's not a good time. And we will go into what exactly a visitation from Krampus is like later in this video. Um, but I guess we should start by telling you guys where this folklore originated. And it's a long list. <laughs> but, I mean, Central Europe. Yeah, right? just, yeah, just in Central Europe. Areas like Austria, Bavaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Northern Italy, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Germany. So there's no proof of this, but it is thought that the idea of Krampus predates 
um, the origins of, of Christianity. So this has been around like pagan times ish. Yeah, like there were no light bulbs. <laughs> That's like, your way of like, like, old. <laughs> like <laughs> discerning time frames. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, because like for me, I mean, feels like yeah. that's been around forever. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> when candles lit the city streets. <laughs> Let me paint a picture for you. <laughs> I feel like that was so much spookier though in itself. You yeah. know what I mean? Not only spooky because your house could burn down. A gust of wind <laughs> comes and all the all the candles go out. It's really spooky. So the word Krampus is actually derived from the German word Krampen. Krampen. Which means claw. So he's known to have these like terrifying. really long claw. Yeah, like the claw One is coming claw. to get you. <laughs> so as Jenna was saying, he is St. Nicholas's demonic counterpart. But what a lot of people don't know is that St. Nicholas is said to travel with up to six different Krampus demons to make sure all the kitties gets what, get what's coming to them. Okay, I thought you said kitties when like my cat just <laughs> lost it. <laughs> He's going crazy. Oh, he's in one of those moods. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. No, he just wants to. Oh, there he is. Yay. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> this is what the holidays are all about. So, this is what makes him so metal, as I was saying earlier. So, what does he look like? He has large, hooved feet. He has a long reptilian tongue, like sort of like Gene Simmons. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he has big devilish horns. And he also has Jenna's favorite quality. Oh, the bells. The bells. He has bells on his back the size of baby heads. That's like the description of it. Baby head sized bells. Yeah. <laughs> like I feel like that really is like put that way on purpose so that the kids really don't mess around. Oh my God. <laughs> Behave. <clears throat> so he carries a bundle of switches to whip the kids with and also sometimes a scene. <laughs> oh my god, you're getting the boot. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> he also is said to carry a horse whip. I don't know if he carries both or just like sometimes he's said to carry one or the other. But that's his tool for I whipping guess, the kids. Yeah, teaching lessons, taking names. <laughs> he drags long chains behind him to restrain children with. So to put it plainly, he basically looks like what has been depicted as what demons look like. He's just like a devilish, demonic, big, fearsome figure to implement, I guess, fear into the kids to try and keep them from misbehaving. We can insert a picture right now. Krampus. <laughs> <laughs> so what does a visitation from Krampus look like? What is it like? What does he do? <laughs> so as you know, he carries a bundle of switches with him, but he'll also carry a second bundle to leave with the parents of the bad kids so that they can use that to whip their kids um, if they're bad. Um. <laughs> Throughout the year as they see fit. Yeah. So the criteria of like what makes you a bad kid and you get Krampus versus a good kid and you get Saint Nick is actually kind of like it's easy to fall into being Krampus's victim, I think. <laughs> You, like, gotta get, you gotta have your <laughs> together if you don't want to be that kid. But like, you know, I, I would think that it'd be like if you're really, really, really horribly bad. But it's like, if you didn't study this year. <laughs> if you were lazy and you didn't do your chores. But I mean, back, back then, that was what bad was. Kids that are bad now are like really bad, like in a different way than they would have been in those countries way back predating Christianity, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I guess that's true, like that's what being bad was. But yeah. I don't know, it's just to me I'm like, damn, like that, <laughs> that sucks. He'd be <laughs> after all the kids. Yeah. Now. Most commonly, he would just give them a really bad swat with his switch switches, but the really bad kids that didn't finish all their dinner, no, just kidding. <laughs> the 
the worst of them. <laughs> the really bad kids would actually get like kidnapped and thrown in his big sack. Like, you think St. Nick is great with his big bundle of toys on his back? Well, yeah, Krampus has got a sack full of kids. <laughs> <laughs> they would take them back to their lair. And what, what did he do? <clears throat> okay, so he would either take them back to his lair to torture them, or he would like literally just take them away to send them to hell. But I'm assuming the hell must have come in after Christianity, because isn't that how the whole idea of hell became a thing? Mm. Or was hell predating Christianity? No. I don't know. It must have been after. Yeah. But anyways, so that, that was said to happen at some point. <laughs> he would even take those kids and bring them to an icy stream and drown them. Oh my god. Just freaking drown them. I laugh because I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so on December 6th, it was said that that was St. Nick's Day. That was St. Nicholas Day. He comes and he, you know, like gives the kids nuts and presents and it's all very exciting for all the good kids. But the night before the eve of St. Nicholas Day... Well, some of them said it was the night before, but some of them said it was the same night. Yeah, I guess that's true. We did a lot of research from a lot of different platforms just to try and get as much information as possible. I think it would probably depend on the region on what the belief is, but sometimes St. Nick would come, and but Krampus would come the night before, um, but sometimes it was like St. Nick would come and the Krampus would be behind him yeah. getting the kids that he would pass over. Yeah, like it almost makes me wonder if like maybe he would come the night before to scare them and then on the day of they'd be like with Santa being like, we're here, like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Um, but yeah, so December 5th was said to be Krampus night and the 6th is St. Nicholas Day. And that is all the information that we have on Krampus <laughs> for you guys. But we did take a side note that was especially interesting that Jenna's really <laughs> excited to share with you guys. And it, it, it's awesome, so take it away. <laughs> so if any of this sounds familiar, but you don't know where it's coming from, when we were researching this, I got really excited to find out that the version of Krampus in America is still in like the German towns in Pennsylvania. If you are a fan of the show The Office, you might remember Belschnickel. <laughs> <laughs> are you impish or admirable? <laughs> yeah, so, so if you're a fan of The Office, they played on this and we didn't even realize that this was a real thing until we learned about Krampus's version, American version, in German towns in Pennsylvania. In, Pan in Pennsylvania Dutch uh, communities is known as Belschnickel and it is completely accurate to what Dwight did in the office and where Dwight is from yeah exactly and um, it was the switches of sticks and dressed in furs and um, he would come to find out if you were impish or admirable. So he would throw nuts and candy on the floor, and if you went down to get it, he would strike you <laughs> with his switches because you were not being polite enough to ask if you could have the, the candy and the nuts that he had dropped. Anyway, so it was really exciting to find out that that was completely accurate and like a real thing. It was, it was fun. I'm a huge Office fan, so that we, we saw Belschnickel got really excited. We just couldn't believe like how the producers or the creators of The Office like really did their very, research yeah, was, when they were making Dwight's character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that, that's amazing. Stay on if you want to know more about Belschnickel <laughs> watch that episode of The Office. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's the kind of the darker side of, of Christmas and so the darker side of Santa and, and St. Nicholas. But a little fun a video for you guys so um, also the other thing is that in these countries they do this thing on Krampus night or whatever where they do the Krampus run mm -hmm. where every, all these people dress up like in elaborate Krampus costumes and do the run down the city streets and, and, and they'll like scare the kids yeah because like, people will, like bring like parents will bring their kids to go see it and they'll like put them right in front and then Krampus will like come along. Yeah, and it's kind of like a rite of passage if you are brave enough to kind of sneak out to the front of of the um, kind of viewing area and put your hand on Krampus's fur. Um, are you brave enough to do it? Yeah. So, 
Before the end of my days, I would actually love to see that in person. Mm -hmm. I think it would be so incredible or even participate in oh it. Oh my gosh, it'd be that'd crazy. That would be so cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you guys learned something about Krampus. <laughs> <laughs> and Belschniko. <Yeah. laughs> Give this video a big like if you enjoyed learning about the darker side of Christmas. And laughing um, with yeah. us. And just enjoyed this fun little video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like paranormal content or if you like our content. And uh, make sure you click your notification bell so that you get notified every time that we upload. And always remember to, to live, live your life, life with love and, and light. light. Bye. We'll see you guys. Bye.